How you guys doing today? Mark Franks here. Guys, today I'm going to show you how to connect your Xbox One controller to your Mac computer and your Windows PC. Now the process is fairly easy. All you're going to do is follow the steps in this video and I have you guys up and running in no time. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So connecting your Xbox One controller to your computer is actually very easy. Now this is a newer type of controller here from Xbox. This is a 1708. All right, the older ones have like a black little trim around it. All right, so those, I think they did Bluetooth, but they didn't do Bluetooth where you, you can actually connect it to your, com your computer. All right, I think it was Bluetooth, but you can connect it to the Xbox. But the newer type, which is a 1708, has Bluetooth where you can connect this controller directly to your computer. Let me, go, let me show you guys the process. So right here, you hold this button down. This is the pairing button. You're gonna hold that button down for about three seconds. So hold it down for three seconds. When you hold that button down, this light right here will start to blink. So let me go ahead and do it real fast, holding it down for three seconds. One, two, three. All right, it's blinking now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the Apple here. And if you have an older Mac, it's probably gonna be system preferences. I'm gonna go to system settings, click on that. And I'm gonna to go to Bluetooth. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna put my controller near near my uh, Mac Mini here and see if it recognizes it. And it recognizes it says Xbox Wireless Controller. I'm gonna go ahead and hit connect. I hit connect and and it connected. Now the light is solid. And that's pretty much all you have to do, guys. It's, you can pull up a game and you can start to play. Let me see if I can pull up a game here. And it just it should just play. It has all the default controls. Already, uh, already synced with your Mac computer. So let me see if I can pull up a game here and see if we can start to play. All right, so that's it. Everything worked pretty good. I didn't have any delays and the controllers were seamlessly. Now, in the beginning of the game, uh, my controllers wasn't working, but I found out later that it's the, it was the controller itself and it wasn't the Bluetooth connection. So the Bluetooth connection was strong and it was working successfully. It was just this controller right here was malfunctioning. But overall, everything worked pretty good, guys. All right, pretty good. That's an easy connection. Let's go ahead and move on to the hardwire connection uh, for your Mac. Now, if you have an old Mac, or you're using an older Mac operating system like Catalina or below, then you can hardwire your controller to your computer, either via USB-C or the micro USB cord. All right, I'm not gonna do it on this video, guys, uh, because sometimes it's a hit or miss. Uh, you can get the software uh, drivers from GitHub. Now you just, you do that at your own risk because it is it's, it's GitHub. So, but I'll put some instructions down in the description below, kind of show you guys uh, how to do that. But if you have like Catalina operating system in below is a good chance you can go ahead and, and hook your controller up via a USB cord. Guys, you can, you can do that. Uh, what you'll do is you'll go to GitHub and you download the drivers. There's different variations of the drivers. So if you put one variation on and it doesn't work, you can use a different variation. But guys, just I wouldn't recommend it. Most of the most of the controllers now just have Bluetooth, just connected with Bluetooth. But if you have an older operating uh, an operating system that you're using and you want to use your cord, you want to use your micro USB cord or you want to use your uh, USB C cord. Uh, that you can go that route and I'll put the instructions down below. All right. So what you do is if you're using USB-C, you can plug it into here. All right. And I believe your Xbox One controller, the newer version, this is the newer version, should work if you have an older operating system. And if you have an older controller, you have a, 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 a micro USB right here. You just plug it in, you plug the other end to your computer. Same with this, you'll plug the USB-C in here and you plug the other end into your computer. All right. So let's go ahead and move on. So you can connect your Xbox One controller to your Windows PC even easier than a Mac. Now there are three different ways of getting this done. Either you can do it via Bluetooth, 
or you can use a corded way. We, I have a USB-C cord here, or you have an older controller, it'll be a micro USB cord. You just plug it into your computer, you can do it that way. Or if all else fails, if your drivers are not updated or you're using an older version of Windows, you can use a Bluetooth dongle. Now I got this dongle, I believe for like $20 on Amazon, and I believe the original dongle for Xbox, the original dongle is I think between $30 and $40, but I got this for 20 bucks. All right, so let me go ahead and show you guys how to do it the Bluetooth way, and then we'll go on to the corded and the Bluetooth and the Bluetooth dongle. So the first thing we wanna do is I wanna go to search. This is the easiest way to get it done and type in Bluetooth. And it says Bluetooth and other device settings. So I'm gonna click on that. And I'm doing this all in real time for you guys. All right, so now I'm gonna go to where it says add devices. And I'm gonna go down to where it says, uh, it says everything else. And it even says, it says Xbox controllers with Xbox wireless adapter, DL, NA, and other devices. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Now it's searching for my controller. So now I'm gonna grab the controller and I'm gonna hold this button down to put this controller in parry mode. So I'm gonna hold it down for about two or three seconds and you should see the light blink rapidly. So I'm gonna hold it down. And now it's blinking rapidly. I'm gonna go ahead and put the controller next to the Xbox. And we see in the bottom right, so it's on the bottom right, it says new Bluetooth game controller found. To pair your game controller, select connect. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit connect. And it says Xbox is connected. And now it says your device is ready to go. And now, now that light is solid. So the light's solid now. So we're gonna go ahead and try to play a game here. So I'm gonna pull up a game because everything should be connected now. All right, so I got a game pulled up, and now, look, I'm going left and right. Let's go into the game. All right, uh, let's exile that. Oh, let me go to the one that's, all right, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and hit start. All right, so now it's working. Just like that, I was able to connect it via Bluetooth. All right, so now it's working. And I can do what I need to do here. Now, depending on the game you have, you may have to make some more configurations. If you're using a Steam account, you may have to go into the settings and make sure the Xbox configurations are on, but it works just fine. Now, what we're gonna do is a corded way. All right, so I have a USB-C tip, so I'm gonna plug the USB-C tip in this one here. And yours, if you have an older controller, it might not be a USB-C, it might be a micro USB, like I said earlier. So now, this is the easiest way, but probably the least convenient, because you, you gotta be close to your computer but it's easy so you just plug it in here and you just go ahead and plug it into the, in your pc so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna exit out of this and i'm just gonna plug it in and it should just pull it up automatically now i've done this already so it may not go through like a quick configuration but if you plug it in it may go to uh go through a quick configuration or it may not saying that it's uh that it's plugged in and it's connected all right so i plugged it in and, and instantly when i instantly when i plugged it in now the light is solid and that, should, that means it's operational and ready to go. So let's go ahead and pull up the game here. All right, so the game is loading now. Go ahead and pull that up. All right, so now it's working the same way. So let's go back, hill climber, hit start. And I'm able to do the same thing. That's just with the, that's just with this controller just plugged in via USB-C. Simple as that. So the next way uh, is the Bluetooth dongle. Now if all else fails, if you can't get it to work just via Bluetooth or if, you, if your wire's not working, you plug it into your laptop or your computer if it's not working, or if it does work this way, but you still want Bluetooth and your blue, regular Bluetooth is not working, you can get a dongle. So basically all we're gonna do is we're gonna plug this in. This is a USB-C, sorry, not USB-C, a USB-A 2.0. It'll, it'll most likely work on a USB 3.0 as well. So we'll go ahead and plug this in now. And before I plug it in, I wanna show you, this does have a button to put this in parry mode. So you just hold that button down for about four or five seconds and this, this light here should start blinking. So let's go ahead and plug it in. All right, I plugged it in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold this button down for about three to five seconds until it starts blinking. All right, now the light, you probably can't see it here, but now the light is blinking. So I'm gonna get a controller here and I'm gonna hold the parent button down for about three seconds and this blinks, blinks a little bit more rapidly. So let's go ahead and do that. 
One, two, three. Now it's blinking rapidly. Now it's gonna to try to connect. And just like that, within a second or two, now it's connected because the light is solid. So now let's go ahead and pull up a game here and see if we have that working. All right, and as you can see, it's working now. The same as before with the, with the blue tube and the uh, hardwired. So it's doing the same thing. Now again, like I said, if you're playing different games, you may have to configure the controllers differently and some games may not work, but I believe the majority of the games will work on your controller. So it's that easy guys. So that's how you do it via Bluetooth. Either you could do it with a corded or you can use a Bluetooth dongle. Now, if you guys, if you guys tried this and you're still not able to get it done, uh, just leave your comments below and I'll try to answer it, try to figure out what's going on. All right, so that's it. That is essentially how you connect your Xbox One controller to your Mac computer and your Windows PC. Now, if you have any questions, please leave all your questions down below and I'll answer them in a timely fashion. I'll catch you guys on the next one, but until then, you guys have a good day.